Hair loss is one of the most well-known side effects of chemotherapy, and approximately 65% of individuals undergoing cancer treatment will experience some type of hair loss during it. If you happen to be one of these people going through chemotherapy, or gearing up for it, know that you're not alone. More than four-fifths of patients going through chemo consider hair loss the most distressing aspect of their treatment. In fact, a study showed that 8% would actually decline chemotherapy due to the fear of losing one's hair. And while it's much more socially acceptable for a man to lose one's locks, many men go through the exact same feelings. Either way, getting a cancer diagnosis and going through chemotherapy can already be traumatizing enough without having to worry about hair loss. The good news is, although a large number of people mistakenly think there's not a thing that they can do to fend off chemo-induced hair loss, Emerging scientific evidence has shown that chemo-induced hair loss can be prevented, delayed, and completely reversed. In other words, you can take proactive action for keeping your hair during chemotherapy. Today, we'll be sharing Nature Crazy's six exclusive recommendations that you can utilize to help to maintain and prevent hair loss, as well as help reverse it if you're already going through the process or have just finished. They address the most critical root issues of chemo-induced hair loss and are proven through scientific research. One, consider supplementing with a combination of curcumin and resveratrol. Now, studies have shown that the treatment of cancer patients with chemotherapeutics, like psychophosphamide, often causes alopecia as a result of the upregulation of epidermal growth factor receptor, or EGFR, which exhibits negative growth effects on certain carcinomas, as well as hair follicle cells. Now, this may sound a little complex, and it certainly is, but in layman's terms, it simply means that epidermal growth factor receptor forces your hair follicles to transition from the anagen hair growth phase to the telogen resting phase, where they begin to fall out. And for this reason, we recommend utilizing curcumin and resveratrol, which both have been shown to naturally inhibit epidermal growth factor. Curcumin has also been shown in studies to help suppress systematic inflammation, improve the quality of life in patients with tumors, and has been shown to enhance the efficiency of chemotherapy in certain types of cancer, such as breast and colon. So it's a double win-win. We recommend one of each every day from a high-quality brand, or utilizing food sources that contain an abundant amount of each. Curcumin is found in abundance in the spice turmeric, and turmeric is the key ingredient in curry spice blends, and makes a tasty addition to soups, salads, meats, and more. Resveratrol is found in grapes and blueberries. Two, consider using alpha-lipoic acid regularly. Now, lipoic acid provides a powerful defense in opposition to oxidative stress and regenerates your body's coenzyme Q10. Besides its benefits of antioxidant protection on a variety of actions in the body, researchers say that the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties could protect hair follicles from free radicals produced by chemo drugs. And a recent animal pilot study showed confirmation that it did indeed reduce chemotherapy-induced hair loss. We recommend using 200 milligrams with breakfast and dinner. If you'd prefer to get your alpha-lipoic acid from meals, some good food sources of alpha-lipoic acid are broccoli, carrots, spinach, and beets. Three, we recommend supplementing with magnesium regularly. Parathyroid hormone, or PTH, and parathyroid hormone-related protein, PTHRP, influence hair follicles through paracrine and intracrine roots, and a study has shown that a PTH and PTHR antagonist significantly altered the hair follicle response to cyclophosphamide chemotherapy in a positive way. In other words, using magnesium can help naturally modulate an excess of parathyroid hormone, often seen in chemo-induced hair loss, and increase calcitonin, which is responsible for helping your body use other nutrients, like calcium. Without enough magnesium, calcium won't get into your bones where it's needed most, and it can form calcium deposits in your scalp, which can lead to dryness, flaking, and hair loss. That's why it's critical for those wishing to keep their hair during chemotherapy. We recommend using a quality brand once a day, or eating a healthy diet that contains nuts, seed, fish, beans, and other high magnesium foods. Four. The fourth exclusive tip we'd like to share with you is utilizing Eclonia Carver, which is one of the most multifaceted supplements you can add to your routine. 
It's well established that chemotherapy can cause prominent small intestine and colonic damage as a result of upregulation of stress response genes and pro-inflammatory cytokines. Possible mediators of this inflammation are the matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs, which have been shown to function in several of the pathways which are known to be upregulated in those with mucositis and contribute to tissue injury and inflammation in many pathological conditions. What most people don't know is that this enzyme is also responsible for degrading the human hair follicle. In other words, an upregulation of matrix metalloproteinase 9 is bad news for your hair. Fortunately, Aclonia carva has been shown in studies to greatly inhibit matrix metalloproteinase 9 and promote hair growth. So, using it regularly will help take this hair loss obstacle out of your way. We recommend using a quality brand daily. 5. It's always crucial to use a topical aid when preventing or treating any type of hair loss. Your diet and the supplements help your body from the inside out, and an effective topical directly addresses the scalp and hair from another front. Avoid chemical-based products, such as minoxidil, and opt for a natural topical that doesn't create dependent hairs, but rather prevents hair loss and stimulates hair growth in a natural way. Now, you may have heard that certain essential oils topically are effective against hair loss and chemo-induced hair loss. Well, this is true. A laboratory study conducted by the International Journal of Aromatherapy suggested that clove basil essential oil by itself could help patients with chemotherapy-induced hair loss. And another study showed that rosemary essential oil helped stimulate activity in the hair bulbs and helped to prevent premature hair loss. You can use both of these on a nightly basis. Also, if you're really experiencing difficulty with your chemo-induced hair loss, or you just like maximum protection, or better convenience, you can also opt for Nature Crazy's Scalp Tonic, which includes an additional array of essential oils and other natural powerful ingredients that can help thicken and maintain your hair. 6. The last but not the least step is to avoid traditional shampoos and use only natural hair care products. Now you can probably pick out shampoo faster than it takes you to read our recommendations, but accidentally snagging a bad one with harmful ingredients can cause irritation of the skin, eyes, and even organ toxicity. Believe it or not, there are literally thousands of chemicals used in personal care products, and the US government doesn't require any mandatory testing for these products before they're sold. To top it off, many of these products can also strip your hair of its protective oils, which causes breakage and exacerbates your hair loss, which is a big no-no for those trying to prevent it in the first place. Our rule of thumb when choosing a new shampoo is to avoid the following ingredients. Sodium lauryl sulfate, propylene glycol, PEG, DEA, TEA, parabens and fragrances. Now, if you're wondering what a good shampoo is, anything with essential oils or coconut oil. In this case, we wholly endorse and recommend Nature Crazy's daily shampoo and conditioner, which are both completely natural and safe. These are the top six steps to preventing and reversing chemo-induced hair loss. And thanks for watching. We hope that you found this information helpful in your journey. And if you liked this video, then please share it with others you care about, or you know could benefit from the information, as we probably all know someone else dealing with this disease. Also, Feel free to comment so we can help build up a supportive community of like-minded people who can relate to each other. If you want updates on cutting edge hair, skin and health tips, just subscribe to this video and go to our website at www.naturecrazy.com. Thanks again. And remember, just be natural.